Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A breakdown of the holiday blockbusters at the box office. Coming up next on NHS TV. A Northwest High School student has won the Clement Ice Cream Vending Marathon. Here is the presentation of the award. So yes, my name is Courtney Clement and I have the ice cream machine here in your school. And I work with Walmart through their corporate office. And every six weeks we recognize 12 students across all of North Texas that have excelled in academics. And today, Casey Kemp is being inducted into the Strade Hall of Fame and receiving a $50 Walmart gift card. So yeah. congratulations. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a very special honor. Again, she was only one of 12 and across hundreds of thousands of students. And the way you so. get your name in is if you make straight A's. Yeah. So oh, very proud of her. Once already. again, how good grades pay off at Northwest High School. So congratulations. Thank you. Great Thank you. Senior Troy Taylor and sophomore Zach Kirkland have been selected to the Dallas White Rock Marathon High School All-Star Relay Team. They'll compete with other Metroplex High School elite runners and attempt to outrun the elite key and marathoners who will be in attendance. The race will be held live this Sunday morning with a separate press truck and video camera that will be dedicated to the High School Elite Marathon. Tune into Channel 8 this Sunday morning. This week's FCA meeting was canceled, but the next one will be December 5th at 6.30 in the film room. <laughs> Our NHS rodeo team will host the North Texas High School Rodeo this weekend at the Saginaw Rodeo Arena, beginning on Friday night through Sunday afternoon. Please come out and support these students and prepare to be amazed at the talents they have. Friday night starts at 7 p.m., Saturday 7 p.m., and Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. The Northwest Sidekicks have been performing in the live televised Children's Medical Center Holiday Parade in Dallas, Texas for 10 years, but this will be the first time they've been featured in the opening performance. In entertainment news, NHS TV is proud to announce that Devin Fortenberry has won two free tickets to the Harkins Theaters in Southlake for answering our trivia question correctly. Congratulations, Devin. No major releases are being released this week. So here's our report of how the holiday movies have done so far at the box office. Hello Texans, welcome to this week's entertainment report. There are no major movies coming out at Harkins Theaters this week, so here's our view of the movies that came out over Thanksgiving break. The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, and Happy Feet 2 came out Friday right before the break. No surprise, Breaking Dawn was a major box office hit, opening to a staggering $138 million in its opening weekend and grossing $42 million in its second weekend. Happy Feet 2 did not fare nearly as well, with a $21 million opening weekend and $13.4 million second weekend. Three new movies came out last Wednesday. The Muppets was the biggest opening, grossing $29.5 million in its first five days. Arthur Christmas opened $12.7 million, and Hugo grossed $11.3 million. Though Breaking Dawn was by far the biggest movie this weekend, it was worst reviewed. Only 26% of critics on RottenTomatoes.com gave it a positive rating, saying it was slow and joyless, and strictly for the fans of the franchise. Happy Feet 2 is giving a low rating as well, with only 42% of critics giving it a positive review. However, three movies that came out right before Thanksgiving were much better reviews. Critics gave Arthur Christmas a positive rating of 92%, saying it was clever and earnest holiday film. Hugo was a surprise hit, especially among film and cinema fanatics, with a rating of 96%. 
Finally, the Muppets were given the best positive review. Jim Henson's lovable creatures may just have acquired a new generation of fans, with 98% of critics giving it a good review. That's all for this week, Texans. Don't forget to check out Harkins Theaters for these great new movies. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend.